Um, Matt, what's next for you? I mean, you know, I'm curious. What is next for you? Um, another book, uh, business? What, what, what is? Yeah, no, I, book writing is what I enjoy. I'll probably, I'll probably publish a book in the next year or two. I'm, I've already got uh, what I'm thinking about, but it's too early to talk about. Okay, so that's the plan. Are you still involved in business and businesses? No, I, I own a small uh, uh, estate and property business that. that been in my family for 300 years and I, I, I enjoy uh, um, being involved in that um, but uh, no I'm not I'm not in any other business and promoting Newcastle you're yeah I'm a big big booster of the Northeast and Newcastle United in particular they're in a cup final in a couple couple of weeks the EFL Cup I won't be attending but I'll be watching it on the telly that's fantastic they'll get beat by Man U they always do we haven't won anything since 1969 <laughs> Always enjoyed my times going through Newcastle. Um, I always finish with a few questions. So I'm just going to ask you now. If you if you could pick up the phone and call up the the 20 year old Matt, Matt Ridley, I don't know if you're taking classes from Dawkins <laughs> at that point. Um, but if you could yes, speak to no. that young man, I'm I'm curious what he was like a little bit. But if you could give him some advice, <laughs> if he would take it, that is, what would you tell him? <laughs> what was he like? Uh, grown ups are much stupider than you think, <laughs> <laughs> okay. including me. Um, in other words. Don't be scared. Don't think there are things you can't do. The world is your. You can do almost anything. You know. I mean, uh, you know, if you really set your mind to it, you, twenty-year-old Matt Ridley, could possibly pro- be prime minister, possibly win a Nobel Prize. You know. I mean, of course not. But you know, um, uh, uh, it. Uh, uh, I, I wonder if I was too frightened of the world at twenty. Well, that must have quickly changed because you've been pretty busy. I've done a f- I've done a lot of things, but my problem is I don't um, stick to one thing. Uh, you know, I tend to get uh, you're only on the planet once. It's fun to do lots of different things. You're a polymath, a bit like Jared Diamond, maybe. You know. Well, I'm, I haven't achieved as much as Jared. <laughs> <laughs> uh, on that same note, um, best advice you've ever received? Is there a mentor over the years, or a professor, or something that rang out, or even a parent of just something you heard or thought? That was just great advice. There's an entrepreneur who I knew, uh, no, he's still alive, uh, called Nigel Vinson, um, who once said, uh, trust people unless you have a reason not to. And I think that's really quite good advice. The, the idea that you should go into every relationship thinking this guy might be about to rip me off is a mistake, actually. You should do the opposite. You, you don't. You don't suddenly give them all your worldly possessions, but you you sort of say, yeah, of course I'll. I'll um, uh, you know, you can pay me next week or whatever. You know, and because that it it builds so much if you can develop trust with people. Yeah, that's great advice. I had a guest here um, who actually uh, spent ten years in the California uh, penitentiary system, um, but he's got some great knowledge, and he said. Um, he said, your outlook on the world is a secret confession of self, is what he says. Huh. And I always nice. thought that's fascinating. So when you get people that are pessimistic about the world, it really tells you a lot about who they are. And if you happen to just go into default trust to everyone in this yeah. world, first of all, what kind of world would you see? And then what kind of world would you manifest yes. if you had yeah. that feeling? But I think being too untrustworthy cuts off all sorts of opportunities yeah. to you in the world. Very much so. And maybe he doesn't even allow you to see the possibility. Okay, the other thing to, to have told my 20-year-old self, my 20-year-old self thought the world was doomed. Mm. I thought, you know, the population explosion was unstoppable, pollution was going to kill us, lifespan was going to fall, you know, I mean, all that stuff. I didn't realise we were going to get richer and richer and richer as a world, and that even Africa was going to get richer and Asia, and, you know, all you know, it was going to be a global phenomenon. You know, it's been a... Spe- you know, we weren't going to have a nuclear holocaust. Okay, we might do it any stage still, you know, etc. Um, but... Uh, uh, you know, uh, that's what I say to, to 20 year olds today is don't believe the ultra pessimists. They were wrong before and they may well be wrong now. This goes into my final question, which is perfect, is advice to that 20 year old out there. Um, and maybe this is your advice is that they're constantly swamped with the doomsday scenarios. Yeah. And you're here to tell them that actually most of that will not happen. There'll be innovations that make that moot or that, it, that bring in better exactly. life. Going yeah, forward. innovation is the source of fantastic improvements in people's lives. Now, it doesn't come as quickly as you'd like. In some areas, we haven't got routine space travel and personal jetpacks, you know, that, that when I was born were going to be the next best thing. But we've got mobile phones and um, uh, GPS and 
uh, you know, satellite navigation, and you know, there's these wonderful toys we've we've got. mRNA uh, vaccines and well. mRNA vaccines, exactly. <laughs> so, um, so try and appreciate the power of innovation and and, and what it can do, um, because it really, uh, you know, don't listen to the councils of despair. Um, even the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change scenarios of what might happen in the 21st century, and they're on the whole pessimistic, you know, saying we're all we're going to suffer from very damaging climate change, but they all assume that we'll be richer in 2100, that the average person on the planet will be much richer in 2100 than they are today. Every scenario assumes that people are richer in that year. Now, richer means you can cope with some of the problems, you know, etc. So Jim Rickards has just recorded a video that's not available to anyone in the public and he's going to be talking about how this upcoming recession is going to be fast, it's going to be bloody, it's going to be nasty. But at the same time, he's going to show you how you can position yourself to profit from all of this chaos. Now we've made this video only available to our viewers. Go to LondonReal.tv forward slash Jim, watch that immediately. I can't say enough good things about Jim Rickards. He understands the global economic system better than any guest I've ever had on London Real. His predictions are almost uncannily true, and you can learn how to profit from his vision, from his expertise, and his understanding of economics. So go to LondonReal.tv forward slash Jim or click the link below. It's an excellent, excellent look on what's going to happen in the future and how you can position yourself to profit from that. Jim is one of the best in the business, one of my favorite guests on London Real. And he's very, very good at predicting the future and showing us all to profit from it. So click the link and I hope you enjoy. I'm looking for partners, collaborators, colleagues who want to join forces with me around the globe and create real value, generational wealth, and financial freedom for everyone else around the world. Get involved in the cryptocurrency markets. Get involved in the NFT markets. This is your moment. Life all comes down to a few moments. Don't let this pass. Now it's not too late. Next year's gonna be too late. Ultimately, this is about freedom. That's the way I see it. This is about giving power back to the people and enabling billions of people worldwide to use the financial markets to improve their lives and those of their friends and their families and their communities. Honestly, I think it's a violation of human rights not to allow people basic access to financial services. Because right now people are being kept in the dark, they're being robbed of education, and it's a travesty. And so I'm looking for people that wanna join me and be a part of this solution. And that all happens inside the DeFi Academy. The gains my students are making are absolutely amazing. Double, triple digit gains in the first month alone. That's amazing. This will change your life now is the time to get involved. I'm gonna tell you exactly how my students in my academy made money in the last 30 days. I'm talking about real trading results. So let me just whet your appetite a little bit. Let me hit you with some numbers. I'm talking Brendan from New Zealand is up 68.77% on the month. Steve from Europe up 83%. Albert in Singapore up 169.9% on one single trade. I got Susan up 153% on her call options alone. Also rocking 139% returns and 442% returns as well on individual trades. These are people that are changing their financial future in the last 30 days, but it's based on trading discipline. I've graduated over 500 students from inside my academy from over 54 countries around the world. It's amazing. When it comes to crypto, DeFi, and blockchain, we love this space. We truly believe it's the future. This is down to our core. It's authentic to what we're doing, and everybody can tell through the camera because you can't make this stuff up. If you're watching me now, wherever you are, I implore you, take 60 seconds right now and join my academy. Apply today. Now you've got a chance. Life all comes down to a few moments. What are you gonna do? What's the choice that you're going to make?